Tom here from Lawrence Systems. I want to do a quick test on Pop! OS 20.04 and does it still support Linux gaming very well? Well, I'm not good at clickbait, so I'll just answer yes, as long as it supports the game that you want, because not all games are compatible with Linux. But, you know, if you want to hang around and look a little bit at the performance benchmarks, we got a couple games I wanted to try on here real quick and just see how they worked. I'll stick around for that. But first, if you'd like to learn more about me or my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire a short project, there's a hire us button right at the top. If you want to support this channel in other ways, there's affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services we talk about on this channel, including a link to our Patreon if you'd like to become a Patreon supporter. We also have a swag store where you can get shirts and other items that are for sale, and that changes from time to time what's available and what's not, so go ahead and check that out frequently. And finally, our forums. If you'd like to have a more in-depth discussion about this video, suggestions for new videos, or just reach out, say hi, and talk tech, our forums are a great place for that. All right, now back to the content. This system's running Pop! OS 20.04, has a AMD Ryzen 9 3900X and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Super. Now this has got Proton on Steam on here. And one of the things I wanna emphasize is that this is a very default install. Nothing special, no tweaking, no going behind the scenes and a bunch of commands or anything like that. I wanted to start it from that basis and see how it worked. I think that's important because you know you don't wanna to try to switch to another platform for gaming and go, oh, it's so much harder because I have to do all these extras. I can't just load the game and go. And it's not as though Windows has been as friendly to gamers as they could be with updates and some of the changes challenges people face with Windows 10 and inopportune times happening. I think more people are looking at alternative desktops and Linux gaming. Well, I don't know that 2020 is the year of the Linux gaming desktop, but I think we're getting closer to it. Now, back to my caveat that I always like to say, it depends if the game you want has support. Now, it's a pretty outstanding list of games that do support Linux, but it's still not 100%. There's not 100% compatibility across the board, but we're definitely getting there. And the first game I want to talk about, and we can just run the benchmark and we'll walk through it, is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So we loaded this on here and ran a little benchmark, and the results were pretty smooth. It ran pretty well, and I didn't really see any hiccups, glitches, or anything like that. I had no problems with the shading. It was nice, smooth, uh, great frames per second on here. Of course, this is you know reasonably spec system, so that's kind of to be expected. Now, the next game we're going to talk about is Doom. I'm just not really good at games, but I do like Doom, and, you know, so that one's an easy one to uh, give it a go here and try it. But once again, uh, no problems. Doom has been really good for Linux support. I've tried it on a couple different versions of Pop! OS, and I've never had a problem with it. So it seems to work pretty well. Uh, once again, good frame rates, no problems running it, and uh, pretty smooth gameplay overall. Now, one of the other things I wanted to point out about running games on Linux is the multitasking works quite well. So here we have our spreadsheet, so we can pretend to be working over here, and we can quickly jump back to our game. And uh, it does pause the game when we switch from it, but that's to be expected. But it's no problem jumping over here. So I can pretend like I'm actually editing a video, and this is uh, some 4K video, and I do have the uh, NVIDIA turned on as far as the rendering for the video processor rendering on here, and it seems to work pretty well. So it does detect, we'll go over here, settings, check for hardware acceleration, and NVIDIA hardware acceleration encoding found and enabled. So I'm able to scroll back and forth over here. I'm able to jump to a spreadsheet. I'm able to easily go back over here to the game and resume. It pauses, like I said, but it's still uh, right where I left off. So as far as uh, playing the games and everything, I'm pretty impressed with it for multitasking, even the smoothness of the graphics while other things are opening here. And it's not been really a problem to uh, do all this testing on here and open this up. And we'll even open up one more thing in the games list here something native to Linux, is a little 3D billiards game that's uh, built into, well, not built into, came with the pop shop on there. So well, we can have this going here. Not that this is anything complex or near as complex as running Doom, but we have that. Then we have Doom over here. And at the same time, we have the video editing open and all of these. So multitasking still worked very well. Now back to the topic of gaming. When will gaming be is completely the same on Linux as it is on Windows, it is gonna depend on you as an audience. The When enough people really demand it, when there's more and more of the gamers, of the general public that uses and plays games, uh, uses these systems, as there's more demand, the developers will simply start writing for that platform. It's not that I think there's any 
love affair that people who are using computers have specifically with Windows. They just go with whatever platform works. And I think that'll start changing as Windows becomes whatever it becomes as these major updates and some of the disruptions. I've you know seen many gamers express their aggravation with underlying problems they've had with Windows. And I think that's something we'll keep seeing a shift towards in the future. It's not gonna happen today. It's not likely to happen in 2020. I'm still a realistic person here. Uh, but I like seeing that if you are a Linux enthusiast that you don't have to sacrifice 100% of the games. And as long as the game you want runs inside of Linux, well, it runs pretty well. So any of the ones that do support Linux um, out of the box are working perfectly fine. Now, another comment I'll have that I know that is a challenge of when you do things like running Wine and some of the other emulation, I know Wine's on the emulator, but someone's gonna split hairs with me on that. When you run things under the Wine system, the other challenge I've seen a few people talk about is that the anti-cheat systems that are built into some games have a lot of compatibility problems running on Linux. Sometimes the game runs fine, but the multiplayer does not because they specifically designed some of the anti-cheat not to be compatible. Well, just they didn't really design it with Linux in mind is the simplest answer. But nonetheless, like I said, there's a link to the entire build of this in terms of what parts we use, but Pop! OS is uh, pretty solid in terms of gaming support. It, they, they did a lot more polish on that. It's uh, out of the box, worked perfectly fine, no special tweaking. That's one of the things I wanted to highlight. The games work well, the multitasking works well, even while the games are running. So my overall is, uh, I think Pop! OS 20 is a solid distribution. I'm still gonna do a longer video at some point, like a whole getting started from start to finish for people who are interested in getting onto Pop! OS and getting off of, you know, any other platform, probably Windows for a lot of people, and uh, bring it over to that side. From a business standpoint, I find it extremely useful. From a gaming standpoint, I think it's coming along pretty well. But like I said, someone's going to call me out and say, don't you use a gaming system at home that uses Windows? Yes, I do. Unfortunately, a couple of the games I like at this moment just don't run on there. But as soon as all the games that I'm playing, which isn't very many of them, do support Linux, well, I'll probably end up reloading my gaming system at home that runs Windows, and I'm excited to do that. I would, I'm really looking forward to when that day comes so I can say I don't use Windows at all. But for now, I guess I'll still have to keep playing some games at home in Windows, and probably a lot of you are as well. But it's coming along. That's kind of the point of this video, and that's what I wanted to highlight to people. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.